today to do another video and today's video is gonna be the get to know me tag except nobody tagged me um, I just don't know what else to do at the moment and a good friend of mine Sadia suggested I do the get to know me video because I actually haven't done that yet and I feel like it's a staple for anyone trying to be on YouTube so yeah this is my get to know me tag so I'm gonna go ahead and get started I'm gonna do about 25 no I will do 25 of them but just not all 30 so if you're familiar with the tag you might be like girl you left out a few questions and I might be like girl I did so <laughs> don't be alarmed okay question number one what is your middle name um, um uh, I don't have one that's hence all this so I actually don't have a middle name on paper on my documents I, does not exist. I think two of my sisters actually, or three, no, two of them have middle names, but I actually don't have middle name on my documents. But assuming if you go by culturally, it's my dad's first name, so it's actually Nura Ahmed Elmi, if I'm correct, that's what it is. I'm gonna do a whole video on names because it's a problem and I'm going through the process of like learning to love my actual name, hence why I haven't changed it formally. So for all my hibbas out there who love their name, good for you. I just had a distasteful experience growing up and I'm really learning to start loving my name which is taking some time but we're gonna get to another video. If you are someone who has changed your name for whatever reason, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, number two. What is your favorite color? My favorite color right now and it's been my favorite for a minute is the color red. Red is bold, it's confident, it's sassy, it's just loud. Like I love red. It's just like, mmm in your face. Number three, who was your first best friend? So I grew up with a lot of siblings, so by default, my siblings were my close friends. But if I had to pick like somebody that wasn't necessarily in my family, but I considered a really good friend growing up when I was a kid, was my good friend Sarah. Sarah, you know who you are. Um, we're still friends on Facebook till this day, but I actually moved from Victoria, BC, where I originally lived to Vancouver, like all of a sudden. So we just kind of didn't talk. Girl, we, we stay up to date on Facebook. I see you, girl. Keep living your best life, Sarah. <laughs> okay, how tall are you? I am, I'm 5'3". So I'm pretty short, actually. Yeah, I'm 5'3". Okay. Cats or dogs, Nora? Question number five. If you know me, you know the answer to this question very well. I'm literally scared of everything with four legs and fur. I don't know what it is. You can say puppy, a kitten, hamster, a rat, like, Oh, I'm just scared of everything. Like I don't, I can't physically even touch it. I don't know why. Honestly, cats and dogs are like my biggest fear. Like, if you invite me to your house, the first question I'm gonna ask is, do you have a dog? Second question is, do you have a cat? Cats, maybe, maybe I'll be cool, but like I'll be on my toes all day. But dogs, definitely no. Question number six. Funniest moment throughout school. I guess I'll pick high school because it's what I remember right now. That's a long time. If you graduated in 2010, y'all, we are old. Just saying, just in case you're having a great day, we are old. Okay, so the funniest moment, I feel like I have to put my phone down for this. I was in high school, I was a school president, and one of my tasks was to actually do the school announcements in the morning. One day, we had a stack of like 20 announcements. I didn't get a time to really sit through all of them to get, you know, get ready and prepared. So I went ahead and did the announcements and I was pronouncing a country, the country called Niger. And I went ahead and said the word nigger. And I remember I continued the announcements like I didn't say anything until the very end. And then I realized what I said. And I remember walking down the halls immediately after and saying to myself like, oh my God, did you just say the N word on the announcements in front of like the entire school? Like, who am I? I remember laughing so hard and like the principal like immediately came on the announcements like 
would like to get all your attention please, something like that. Um, we're sorry for the mispronunciation of the word Niger. Um, it was Niger. I uh, hope you guys will have a great day and I was like, I'm done. My life here is done. But life continued, we all got over it and now craziness. Okay, how many countries have you visited? Good question. Okay, so I've actually was privileged enough. I went around like all of Canada. Like I went from like, I wanna say east to west. I haven't went up north yet, but like I pretty much have covered a lot of Canada, which is really cool. I once took a road trip from like Texas to Toronto. So I've seen a lot of America, which is cool. I've actually been, uh, I did a backpacking trip in Europe a couple years ago. So I got to see France. I went to Italy, I went to Germany, I went to like Netherlands, like Amsterdam. Uh, I can't think of anything. I've been to Cuba before and I went to the Dominican Republic, so South America as well. And yeah. Are you in or have you gone to college? I have went to high school, I have went to college, I've went to university, and then I've recently completed my master's, so I am done school, and no, I'm not in high school, although I look like it. <laughs> Question number nine. What was your favorite subject, I guess, and what was your worst subject in high school? My favorite subject was geography. What was my worst subject in high school? Yo, me and math, like, two negatives. And we just did not attract like we did not attract i did not understand that i was always there for extra help i tried my best but it was difficult we had a love-hate relationship couldn't do it okay question number 10 what is your favorite drink my favorite drink is coffee i love coffee i can literally drink coffee like three times a day breakfast midday coffee and sometimes even evening coffee if i'm feeling good um, I just love regular double double Tim Hortons or I'm just saying, like getting me a cup. You know what I'm saying? Question number 11 What is your favorite animal? I actually don't have one. Do I? I like elephants actually. Like, I'd like to like see like a real life elephant. Something about them is really magical. Elephants. <laughs> what is your favorite perfume? I'm not really a perfume girl. Like I might have like one bottle in my house for like a year. Like I really don't wear a lot of perfume. It's also because like a lot of the agencies and places I work are like scent free. So also like I just never really got into like buying a bunch because I know I can't actually wear it like when I go to work or like when I go out to some like offices and things like that. So not really a perfume girl, but if I did like it, I would think Burberry London or Chanel. Question number 13, tea or coffee? Coffee, hello. <laughs> okay, what would you or have you named your children? I ain't got no kids, so I haven't named them anything yet. I don't know, I haven't really been into like meanings of names, I just like the sound of name and like being able to pronounce the name. Um, but I really like the name like Samia, I like the name Samaya, I like Samira, I like um, all the us, I like S's, I don't know why. <laughs> and if you're Somali, like honestly, parents be naming you like Samia, Samira, Samaya, like <laughs> all the S's so go. But for guys, I really like the name Jabril. Um, I like the name Khaled. Yeah, haven't thought too much of it to be honest, but the S's are for girls, I don't know, just really pretty. <laughs> Issa Rae, Insecure Girl, you did that. You did that. Genuinely love the show. 